Hello world, it is Sunday, December 25th, 2011. Merry Christmas, and I hope everybody's having a great Christmas day so far. Um, I just want to take the time today to do a quick list of my recap of the year 2011, of the favorite things I've watched, read, or played in the year 2011. These are not the best of 2011 because I obviously haven't played or read or seen everything that came out in 2011. These are just the things that I, that I saw, read, or played in 2011 that really sort of stuck out with me throughout the year. So, let's get started. So, my favorite book to read in the year 2011 is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games is a fantastic book, and it's probably one of the best page-turners page that I have read in a, a while. I mean, this book constantly engrossed me from beginning to end. I, like, sat down the entire summer and read this book. I mean, it didn't, it didn't take me the entire summer. I read the book probably about a matter for a good few weeks. But I read the book so quickly, and it was just such an engrossing read, such a compelling read, and probably one of the best reads, the best books that I have read in quite possibly the longest time. And uh, so my favorite album of 2011 goes to Neighborhoods by Blink-182. Blink-182 is one of my favorite bands of all time. They've been my favorite band since about middle school, and this is the first album they have made since 2003. This is the album they made that came out back in the back towards I think about September, October maybe I can't really remember off the top of my head. But the album is so amazing because they managed to mix everything they've done when they first broke up. Like they mixed, you know, when Tom had it, there's a whole bunch of influence from Angels and Airways and a whole bunch of influences from Plus Forty Four mixed into the Blink One Eighty Two sound and it made such a fantastic record, a very such a dark record. It was fantastic. Now let's move on to video games. My favorite video game that was played in 2011 goes to Assassin's Creed Revelations. The Assassin's Creed series is probably one of my favorite modern video game series. I mean, they constantly, you know, it has constantly great action, a great story, a great deep story, and awesome action, combat, the, the works, beautiful graphics. The, Assassin's Creed is one of those games that every time they come out with a new game, it's just, it's always fantastic. It always sort of sets the bar higher and higher and higher. And hopefully once, if Assassin's Creed 3 is going to be the next game, which Ubisoft said pretty much it is going to be Assassin's Creed 3, technically. Even though they, this is technically, Assassin's Creed Revelations is technically the fourth game in the series. So, eh, no one's keeping count. So, other than that, it's a great game. And it's definitely one of my favorite play, my favorite games to play of all time, of this year. So, my favorite TV show that I watched in 2011 is the re the reimagined Battlestar Galactica. This show, honestly, is probably not only one of the best TV shows I've ever seen, but it's also one of the best sci-fi creations I have ever seen. It's such a deep, moving story, great special effects, great cast of characters put into an extreme situation. It just it makes for great television. It makes for a great watching experience. Yes, I know Battlestar Galactica went off the air a few years ago, but I watched it recently on Netflix, and it just completely blew me away. Every, you know, I sped through that show just because of how good it was. And, you know, it's definitely one of my favorite shows of all time, and definitely one of the best science fiction creations of all time. So, now let's go to my favorite movie. My favorite movie of 2011 is, no surprise, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, I've made it no surprise here, and you guys probably remember back in the summer when I did all those Harry Potter lists, that I'm a huge Harry Potter geek. I think it's... I'm not ashamed to say it that I am. And Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2 was, you know, an excellent closure to the franchise, you know? It made me laugh, it made me cry. Yeah, it kind of rushed through things a little bit, but it was honestly probably one of the best movies that came out in 2011. I'll, I'll honestly say that. I know I don't like to use the word best, but this is definitely the best, one of the best movies of 2011, and one of the best movies of this decade. So, yeah, so, like I said, my favorite book is going to be, my favorite book was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. My favorite album was Neighborhoods. My favorite video game was Assassin's Creed Revelations. Favorite TV show was Battlestar Galactica. And my favorite movie of 2011 was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Sorry I didn't go into much depth out of these, I just wanted to make a quick video really quick. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. What are, you, what are some of the favorite things you've watched, read, or played in 2011? And just, you know, put that down there if you, if you would like. Um, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, my next video is going to be, the last video of 2011 for me, is going to be sort of a retrospective of my year of vlogging. Because I've been vlogging for pretty much almost a straight year now. I started probably back, no I didn't start, yeah I pretty much started back in January. Started vlogging consistently back in January and I'm going to kind of use this as a year to sort of reflect on my heavy vlogging of 2011. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys, and, uh, I will see you to, I will, you know, I'll see you guys when I can, if I can't make this video before New Year's, have a happy New Year's, and, uh, be safe, so, alright, I'll see you guys later. Sorry, but peace. You know, a lot of girls be thinking my songs are...